Ezra Levant here for Rebel News. I'm standing at the doorway of the Fashion Institute of Technology, where within the past hour, dozens of activists have stormed the lobby in solidarity with the Hamas protests at Columbia. Some of the people are students, but many of them are not. And as you can hear outside, they're doing their typical move, which is mantras, anti-Semitic mantras, calling for the uh, racial purging of all Jews. They have that phrase, from the river to the sea. Um, they call for basically the extermination of the Jewish people in Israel. They call for the globalization of the intifada, which is an Arabic word for a violent pogrom. I tried to talk to some of these kids here. They had no idea about anything really, other than they don't like Israel and they do like Gaza. Uh, two of the students there were carrying flags that I said, what flags are those? And they said, oh, that's the Gaza flag. No, it wasn't the Gaza flag. They don't know anything about anything, but it's fun to be here. It's springtime and the young New Yorkers' thoughts turn to excitement. Why not join a protest? Why not be part of a moment? Why not chant and bang on things and stand up to authority? I think most of the people here are useful idiots, to quote Vladimir Lenin. There are some organizers here, on the other hand, who are professional organizers. And there's one weird telltale. You can see there's a handful of Orthodox Jews, ultra-Orthodox Jews, wearing fur hats. They're called the Naturai Karta a very, very small extremist sect of Jews, not recognized by any other Jews for their bizarre opinion that Israel should not happen until the Messiah returns. And so they are hired typically by Iran or Iran's proxies to come and join anti-Semitic rallies. And that's enough for the low information protesters here to say, oh look, even the Jews, hate Israel. Low information. But of course, as you can see inside the walls, uh, and we'll just walk around a little bit, it's just like the Columbia protest, professionally organized with matching brand new tents. And um, I don't know how long this will last, because this is a, in some ways a private institution Will the university administration crack down on it? Hey, if you want to do something about this, go to our website, deporthamas.com. Our plan is simple, to convince politicians to deport any of the Hamas hate marchers who are not citizens. If they're here on a student visa, they should be students, not spreading anti-Semitic hate. Go to deporthamas.com.